everybody, and welcome to Writer Tip Wednesday, where on Wednesdays, we do a writing tip. And this tip is going to be a little different. But first, we are only eight subs away from 1,700. And I know you guys love hearing me talk about subs. As soon as we get to 1,700 subs, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So, if you're not subbed yet, go ahead and hit that button so I could do that Q&A video tomorrow. That would just be helpful, okay? So make that happen. All right, so today we're gonna be talking about a writing tip that's a little bit different, um, a little more retroactive slash actually for the future. And so I'm going to tell a little bit about me to illustrate some points here, but I want to give credit where credit's due. And this conversation came up through some comments on Slady V's page. Um, I will hopefully remember to link that down below. But I think the thing that has been plaguing artists and writers and musicians and painters and filmmakers and sculptors and knitters and felters and whatever, anything creative that you could think of. The thing that has been over the last, like probably 25 years, that has been hurting artists more than anything in the world, and it's actually more than 25 years because, um, as you will see soon, but what's been hurting us more than anything is how to put value on our art and why that's so difficult. I'm sure you guys have heard hundreds of times, if it's not you saying this yourself, that like, I'm not a very good marketer. I'm not a very good business person. I don't really feel comfortable asking for money for art and all this other stuff or for my art. And I think a lot of this has to do with mindset, but even more, I think this is a learned behavior. So here's where I go with my shit. Back in the old days, when I wanted to go to school, like college, I wanted to go to film school. That was like my first thing I wanted. And my parents said, you can't do that. There's no money in that. The, I guess the big middle finger there was that for 10 years, I made a really good living making movies. So up yours, folks. So that was something that, that I didn't do anymore. And then when I was in college, I was taking a bunch of art classes. And that pissed my parents off. Because they're like, you can't make any money with art. Like, you can't do that. Like, there's no money in it. Like, my parents wanted me to wear a suit and tie and do a 9 to 5. And because I wasn't conforming to what they were expecting me to conform to, there was this disconnect between us where, um, I don't know, I guess you could just say I was a bum, according to my family. And it's weird because um, the music that I'm going to be recording that I was originally going to release as a Creeperson album, but I think I'm just going to do like a full band solo album kind of thing. All those songs I'm going over, they're riddled with, and it's like songs I wrote when I was like 18 and 19. They're just riddled with like, like letting everybody down and not being enough because of who I am. And that as an adult, as someone looking back like 25 years later, seeing that that was my mindset and that's how I felt but for the most part, my whole adult life, I've made my living from my art. So it was really weird to hear that. But I hear this from everybody, like every artist I know, um, with ex an exception of a very few, they have no idea how to monetize their art. They have no idea how to make a living from being an artist. And a lot of it comes down to them being told that you cannot make money at that. 
So when you're told that so many times, your brain is like, oh, well, I am an artist, but obviously I can't make any money at this. So I'm going to have to, I don't know, become a garbage man or um, a exotic dancer in order to pay for this. So my hobby could be my art. I would rather my hobby be a garbage man or an exotic dancer, if I'm honest with you. So the whole point of this is to let you know that I really, really, really hope that the younger generations coming up, that we don't put that shit on them, that we don't tell our kids and our grandkids that there's no money in art. Because if, if capitalism has taught us anything, you can fucking sell anything to somebody, okay? We just have to know that what we're doing is worth something. And that's why we are going to sell it to someone. Do you see what I'm saying? As soon as you put a value on your own art, that value is something that you can tell someone about when you are selling it. This whole idea that art should be constantly given away for free and that artists and writers and musicians should not be asking for money, it's fucking crazy. And up until, like, seriously, the internet, I think the internet is, like, really, really to blame here. But um, the internet comes, and then people could get anything for free. Pirating was huge. Napster. You could get anything anywhere. Okay? Just really think about it. Because anybody can sell anything if they think there's value behind it. And if we've been beaten into our brains that our art cannot make money, then we will never try to make money with it. Do you see what I'm saying? We will never try. And I'm not talking about being rich. I'm talking about just being able to fucking eat and fucking have a roof over your head and buy more supplies, you know? So, like, I'm not talking about getting rich here, which I'm sure a lot of people can do. I'm just talking about being able to fucking live life as an artist, okay? So when your kids come to you and say, I want to be an artist, I want to be a painter, I want to be a writer, never ever tell them that there's no money in that and to pick something else. I think honestly what anyone should do is like really hone and like help that person find their artistic freedom and then also like nudge them like if you want to major in art that's fine but minor in business you know like give them some sort of like nudge in the direction that they can do this they just have to figure out how to put value on their art okay so let me know what you think down below is this something that you've gone through um it's it's pretty deep and pretty crazy. So, um, and like, I've talked to other people and Slady V included, whose parents were really supportive and um, didn't have that issue, but still has the same issue as to how do you put a value on your art? Okay, so this is just one of the many things that creates this problem. So let me know what you think down below, and um, keep writing type hard and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.